Pat Boone here. Yep, the entertainer, the singer, the songwriter, the movie guy. Also lifelong Zionist. And I want to give you a little example of uh, how my Zionist leanings and convictions uh, have had an effect on my, my life. A little story. I wrote, and some of you may know, that I wrote the uh, theme, the words, to the theme song for the movie Exodus. Bom, 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 That beautiful melody Ernest Gold wrote for the film. Now, I had read uh, Leon Uris' book, Exodus, and also Moses' book by the same name in the Bible as a kid and, and many times in latter years. So I was thoroughly familiar with the history of the people of Israel. And as a, a Christian, I call myself an adopted Jew, and I wear my chaim. I'm again David at the gym. Sometimes this is all I have on, and sometimes people say, are you Jewish? Pat Boone, are you Jew? I say, yeah, by adoption. As a Christian, I'm adopted into the family of God's chosen people. Yes, I was in uh, Israel, and it was after the 1973 uh, conflict with Syria and, and Egypt. I was there, asked by the Israeli army to come up uh, to the northernmost outpost in occupied Syrian territory. Uh, as Henry Kissinger was trying to uh, affect the uh, line of demarcation so that the battle could be declared over. And while I was there in a foxhole to entertain the troops at their invitation, Israeli troops, shells coming in from toward Damascus and shaking the ground, and, and they asked me to sing. And I said, well, what do you want me to sing? Which ones of my songs do you know? And they, like a chorus, they said, sing Speedy Gonzales. <laughs> well, that was a big hit of mine in Israel and around the world. I said, no, let me sing something more significant. So standing there in the foxhole, I sang, This land is mine. God gave this land to me. And when it was over, it was quite emotional. No music, just my voice and singing. And I told the uh, commander of the outpost, I, my conviction was that God was restoring the land of Israel to all of its... Uh, property uh, from at least the time of David, if not from the time of Solomon. And the commander said, well, I hope you're wrong. Why? He said, because it means more battle, more bloodshed, and we would give up land, as they did eventually with Gaza, if it would bring about peace, which it did not. So I sang that song standing in the uh, bunker, in the, yeah, in the, in the foxhole. About a year later, I was with Prime Minister Rabin in his office, and I told him about that episode. And he said, where were you? I said, I was there below Mount Hermon, the northernmost outpost in occupied Syrian territory. He went to the map. He put his finger on the map. He turned back to me. He said, you sang a prophecy. I said, I did, yes. He said, where you sang that night in the, in the bunker is now part of the new map of Israel. So I did sing a prophecy. This land is mine. God gave this land to me. God's promises are without revocation. The land of Israel belongs to the Jews. It always did. It always will. And that's why I am a Zionist. 